everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you my pet cleaning routine and I'm also going to share with you the products and the things that I use to help keep our house smelling fresh and clean. If you have pets, then you know um, they do smell and you have to kind of keep up with it. But I hope you guys enjoy and don't worry if you don't have pets, this video is still motivational and hopefully will still get you motivated to get something done today. All right, so starting in the master bedroom, I'm going to start by taking off the sheets and the blankets, and I'm going to go ahead and wash these. Um, this is very important if you have dogs, especially if they're allowed on your furniture or on your bed. Um, the dog scent will start to linger, so the bedding and anything fabric is really, really important to wash weekly. Um, so that is the number one tip I have. Anything that is able to be washed, wash it every single week. Just make it a routine thing, um, and this definitely cuts down on the dog smell. Also, cleaning the dog's bed. Um, this is something I do once a week as well. I vacuum out their kennel and around it. Um, it gets bad so fast. Our dog, Honey, she is the big black um, pit bull and lab mix. She sheds probably worse than any of the dogs and you can see all of her hair right here. Um, she leans up against the kennel and kind of like scratches her back <laughs> against it and all of her hair falls behind here. So, like I said, I have to vacuum this every single week. Um, if I could vacuum it more, I definitely could, but to be honest, it's just not something I do on a regular basis. This is a once a week thing. Boy, it's been a while since we talked, and my head's getting nervous. I can handle this on and off. I can't know. I just gotta know where you are. If I want to remain sane. But you go send me text and call. Oh no. You could be running off with somebody else. Ooh, boy, I ask myself. Yeah. Wait, maybe you're just off doing what you said. Ooh, think I've lost myself. Tell me what's the hold up, baby. Tell me why your phone's off. So I was just quickly wiping out their kennel using the Mrs. Myers cleaner, um, but I do recommend using something that's safe for your pets, like a Dawn and water mixture. Um, you can use vinegar and water as well. A lot of people recommend using that for dogs. Um, but if I'm being honest, I'm just not a fan of using vinegar to clean with. It's just not something we like at all. <laughs> like, I will gag. <laughs> I have such a strong sense of smell. and. I bought some the other day and I was like, you know what, I'm going to test it out, see how well it works. Y'all, I sprayed way too much. I could not get the smell out of my house. It was miserable. <laughs> so just be careful if you're going to use it. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but now I'm just taking baking soda. This is my go-to for the carpets and the couch. This really does help deodorize it and I love it. It's safe. I don't have to worry about the kids stepping on it or the dogs. Um, and I just sprinkle everything and let that sit. And now I'm going to go ahead and get the shower going because we're going to bathe all three dogs today. Zoe! Come here, baby. Come on, Zoe. 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 Come here, look. Joey! Alright, so Zoe would not come, so I started with Honey today. Honey actually really enjoys a shower. She'll walk right in here on her own. She loves to get scrubbed down. Um, she's definitely a water baby. Uh, she's always went swimming with us and played in the water hose. <laughs> um, but the other two, they will run and hide if you even mention a bath. <laughs> it's so funny. So I start with Honey, and I am using Baby Wash to wash the dogs. Um, this is what I always use. It seems to make them smell the best longer and um, I don't really have to worry about it hurting them. It's, it's really gentle. I mean, if you can use it on your baby, I feel like you can use it on your dog. So that's what I use. And to wash her face, I use like baby wipes or a washcloth with warm water on it. And I just use that to clean their face. I don't put any soap around their eyes or anything like that. 
and then I make sure I dry them very well before I let them out of the shower. So it does help that I have the tall glass, um, you know, shower doors that keeps all the water and all the dog hair. This dog, man, I'm telling you, out of all the dogs, she sheds the worst. It is so bad. You can like see the piles at the bottom of the shower whenever I bring Zoe in. So I also wanted to share with you guys that I only bathe our dogs once a month um, and sometimes a little longer just depending on if they aren't stinking or not. So your dogs have like natural oils in their skin and if you bathe them, if you over bathe them, you will strip those oils out and they will actually kind of get irritated and it will make them smell worse. I feel like... I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it does. This has worked. Um, I started this really early with Zoe. I didn't bathe her that often. And then I started it with Little as well because honestly, she really never stinks. She's a, such a small dog. Um, but Honey, on the other hand, I overbathed her at first. And then I realized after doing research that I was overbathing her and I kind of had to train her back into not washing her as often. So to do that, I would just recommend pushing back a week. So if you're used to bathing your dogs like once every two weeks or something, try to push it back to like once every two and a half weeks or once every three weeks. Um, and this will eventually get their oils back and their pH balance back and they won't smell as bad. Um, so now to bathe little she is the hardest to bathe. She fights against me. She's not happy. <laughs> um, and she's a grumpy little dog, y'all. <laughs> but I love her. She's a part of the family. And even though she doesn't come out often, she is my baby. And I do love her very much. Um, but she is, she's the most dramatic when it comes to the shower. She lets me know she does not like it. All right, so I didn't film this part, but after I dry the dogs, I try my best to dry them as best as I can, but they are still kind of wet and they'll have like that do that wet dog smell until they're fully dry. So I put a clean towel at the bottom of their kennel and they all lay together. They each get to have a treat for being good. And um, after putting them in there, I usually go change my clothes because I'm usually soaking wet by the time I bathe little. <laughs> so I went ahead and sprinkled the carpets with baking soda. And while they are drying, I work on cleaning off the couch and the carpets and all of that good stuff. So it gives them time to dry and it gives me time to get all this cleaned up. By the way, I wanted to mention that this vacuum I will link below if you're interested. I am very impressed with the suction power of this thing and the fact that it held its suction power even after all this baking soda. So usually the filters get clogged on my old vacuums and this one did not. Um, obviously it was full and you'll see me clean it at the end of the video, but it definitely held its power throughout the entire couch cleaning and all the floors. So I'm highly, highly impressed. And like I said, I'll link it below for you. You 
hide me at all Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday Alright, so I went ahead and cleaned out underneath the couch as well, and this is something I do about once a month. Um, same thing with bathing the dogs and deodorizing the carpet. That is all a once a month thing. Um, I don't have to do it that often, and I think a lot of it's because we have pretty much all tile in our house. So we are um, lucky enough that the dog smell is not as bad as it would be if our whole house was carpet. Um, so definitely just keep that in mind. If you are, a, if your home has a lot of carpet, I would recommend doing this at least once a week. This will definitely help keep the dog scent out. Um, also, if your dogs um, usually don't lay on a dog bed or anything, um, find them a bed that they actually like or if you don't want to invest in a dog bed because they can be kind of expensive. And I don't know if it's just my dogs, but my dogs will eventually, they'll tear like holes in their dog beds at some point by like trying to make their bed. So sometimes I'll just give them like an old comforter that we no longer use and that works great as well. So giving them something other than the carpet to lay on will help set that, you know, barrier between the dog smell and the carpet. So, um, and then you can just wash that blanket every week. Um, like their dog beds that they have right now, I can't throw those in the wash machine. They will tear apart. So I actually prefer giving my dogs an old blanket over a dog bed. But since we just got their dog beds for like Christmas, um, we're just using them for now. Um, and then as far as like the pillows go, I just you know, vacuum them really well and I spot clean the ones that can't be um, washed. And I do the same thing for their dog beds. I once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a man Shrugging your shoulders, I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. So after finishing up vacuuming the living room, the dogs are fully dry, so I usually let them out to use the bathroom, and then I come in and I wipe out their kennel one more time, um, and this is just to get rid of any of that wet dog smell that might linger, 
and I add their dog bed back to their kennel and voila, it's all nice and fresh and clean like it's brand new. And Honey always loves this part. Like as soon as I throw her bed in there, <laughs> she's like the first one to hop in there real quick. Like no one else is getting on my bed. Um, but now I'm going to move into my bedroom, go ahead and vacuum up my carpet since they have been sitting for a while. And then we will move on to the next task. I get so caught up in the middle. Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide So I'm going to do one last quick tidy up before I sweep and mop the main living space. So I do mop my house once every two days. Um, this is a must have for us or our floors will look horrible horrible um, with three dogs and two kids um, and obviously two adults the house can get messy pretty quickly especially the floors so I usually vacuum them but I wanted to sweep them up so that way you guys could see just how fast um, like the dirt and dog hair accumulates on our floor just so you know that this is real like I have three dogs and they are hairy I literally I'm not even exaggerating you guys I vacuumed and mopped my floors the day before filming this video so this is what is on my floor in one day Oh, look at all that dog hair. <laughs> I was not exaggerating. We have a lot of hair in our house. So like I said, I have to vacuum and sweep daily and mop at least once every two days. So I'm going to tackle just tidying up and cleaning off the island and then go ahead and get ready to mop the floors. You used to touch, I used to dream, we used to say the prettiest I've ever seen so long ago before it all went down in flames we were hard Do you wanna rewind for all? 
All right, so after dog bathing day, I always make sure I clean the bathroom really well. So I sweep in there first, and then I also make sure I rinse and wash out the shower really good, or this bathroom would smell like dog for days. So first I sweep and get all that cleaned up, and then I move into the shower and I scrub it down. Um, right now, my favorite cleaner for the shower has been just your regular old Dawn dish soap. I love it. I probably will never switch to anything else again. I mean, obviously, I'll have to disinfect and, and use like my scrubbing bubbles and stuff here and there, but on a regular daily basis clean, I love the Dawn. So I get that done and then I go ahead and mop in here and now I'm going to move into my bedroom and make my bed. So um, I also thought it was really funny that so many people commented on how I don't use a flat sheet. Um, I haven't used a flat sheet in so long. Like it's just not my thing. <laughs> I honestly just get tangled up in it and we're just not flat sheet type of people. So y'all let me know in the comments below. <laughs> do you use a flat sheet or um, do you not care for one? So anyway, I'm just going to make my bed and then I'm actually going to move outside and clean up my vacuum and share with you how I do that. It was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. It struck me like lightning. All right, before I move outside to clean out the vacuum, I wanted to share with you guys that I do clean out my dog's water bowl um, about once or twice a week. I rinse it out really well and scrub it down just to make sure there's no germs or anything um, and like build up building on the inside of the bowl. Um, you'll be surprised how nasty dog bowls get. So this is something I try to remember to do on a regular basis. Um, and then as soon as I wash out their bowl, like I swear they watch me and then they come running for like the fresh clean water. Um, and I also feed my dog I'm dog food for those who have asked. This stuff is crazy expensive, but due to some health issues with one of our dogs, we are trying out this dog food to see how it works. Um, and now I just wanted to show you how the vacuum was looking. And so I'm going to go ahead and clean it out and share with you how I do that. Um, and honestly, this is kind of weird and random, but it works. And I've been doing it this way for a couple months and it has helped a ton. So I empty it out and I take it apart as much as I possibly can. And then I use an old vacuum to clean the new vacuum. So I use the um, hose to suck up the filter and just do the best I can to clean everything out and get all the dust and all that out. Um, and then I take a dryer sheet and whatever cleaner I have on hand um, closest to me, it could be water, it could be, you know, pine saw, whatever. Um, and I use the dryer sheet to dust and clean the um, vacuum and this not only cleans it but it makes it smell really good too and it just lingers and keeps it smelling nice and fresh so that's a little tip if you have dogs um, and try using a dryer sheet just to clean out the inside of the vacuum it picks up a lot of the dust and debris and you'll see it when I lay it down it is filthy it is like black <laughs> um, and that just goes to show you how much it picks up so I also, this is another tip, um, if your vacuum tends to smell pretty bad when you turn it on, take a dryer sheet piece, like rip a piece off, and stick it where the filter goes. So I'll show you what I mean. Right here, I'm just ripping a piece off and sticking it right underneath where the little sponge filter is, and this keeps the vacuum smelling good for a couple days. So there's a little tip. Also, dryer sheets work really good for rubbing down your couch. Um, and then I also stick some fresh ones in between the cushions. That way, if guests are coming over and they go sit down on the couch, they'll get like a poof of a laundry smell. And it smells so good. <laughs> um, but that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed for future uploads. Um, I appreciate you watching so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all. Oh, her so pretty. <laughs> you, you cuddling in your bed. Is it all clean? Is it all clean? It's all clean. So you better get out of there. That's her bed. Laying in your bed. Look at this shiny goat. Hi, baby. Quit, honey. Leave her be. Leave her alone. My sweet little. My sweet little. Oh, nobody touch her toy.